What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stacks Gaming, and welcome to another One Piece deck profile. Like always, before we begin, I'm going to ask you to like, subscribe, support the channel on Kofi so we can have more giveaways, more tournaments, stuff like that. Speaking of giveaways, like I said before, don't forget, we're going to have a giveaway to celebrate our 2,000 subscribers. It'll be coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. But anyways, today we bring you Bello Betty. Yes, she is right here. Activate main once per turn. You can trash one Revolution Army type card from your hand, and uh, up to three of your Revolution Army type characters or characters with a trigger gain plus 3,000 power till the end of this turn. That is just amazing, all right? This build, we're just gonna be going for the kill, okay? No events. There's not gonna be any events in this deck. So if you like bringing the events, that's cool. But here, no events. So yes, really good. So let's start off here, the main deck. Four searchers, of course, four bello biddies. Four Namis, basically, but it is just for revolutionary army. Really good, because like I said, with bello biddies effect, you give it plus 3,000. So it'll be 5K ready to attack. Four koalas. If you notice, we're getting rid of all the non-trigger cards first. Four koalas is because it's a Revolution Army card, so it's another target for your Bella Bitty Searcher, and uh, it's a 2k shield. You're really not going to use it for the other effect. Not in this build, anyways. But on play, if your leader is a Revolutionary Army type, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 3,000 power during this turn. Pretty good, but you're not really going to use it. Then four Anuzuma, however you say his name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. I don't mean to butcher it, but yeah. It's a rush card. 3 cost, 4k, counter 1. If you have a character with 7,000 power or more other than this card, it gains Rush, which will be really possible really easily because, you know, your leader's effect. So you could drop it, give it a Don, it's already 5k ready to go. And then it'll be there ready for next turn. Or if you don't want to drop it with a hard cost, that's why you have 4 of this guy right here. So 5,000, cost 4, counter 1, but activate main once per turn if this character has 7,000 power or more. Play up to one Revolutionary Army type card other than this card with 5,000 power or less. So you could drop that for free and then give it a rush. But what it's really here for is for the best card, the best non-trigger for Karasu. On play, if your leader is Revolutionary Army, which of course it is, give up to one of your opponent's leaders or character minus 1,000 power for this turn. Yes, you know you're gonna choose the damn leader. Why the hell would you choose character? Unless it's bugging you that much, yeah, you're going for the leader. And then when attacking, if this character has 7,000 power or more, once again, easily because of your leader, uh, you can choose an opponent's leader or character, give it a thousand power. So every single time, it's there, basically. On play and every attack after that. And they do stack, so if you have more than one in the field, that's really scary. So now we move on to the triggers. We have four Charlotte Cracker. Dawn one, double attack, and then, you know, has the trigger. You may trash one card from your hand to play this card. And it does also have a counter. Really good effect. Of course, you've seen them in Big Mom decks, but here it is the only Big Mom card you have. Then you got four Sanji blockers. It's already 5k right off the bat, just like Cracker, so it's already good for attacking. Remember, you could also give these a plus 3,000 power. Plus, you know, blocker. We have no events, so this is the only way you'd be blocking. Four Morley. When attacking, if this character has 7,000 power or more, your opponent cannot activate blockers during this battle. Really good effect, but once again, just like the Sanji and the Cracker, you're gonna use it for the trigger. You may trash one card from your hand if your leader is multicolored, play this card, so. Then for Lindbergh, when attacking, if this character has 7,000 power or more, knock out up to one of your opponent's characters with 3,000 power or less. Really good for getting rid of, you know, those small blockers. And of course, trash one card from your hand, play this card. One more Revolutionary Army trigger card. You got four Kuma, 1k counter, only 2k power. But of course, with Bello Betty's effect, it'll be 5k ready to go. And of course, you'll have all that extra Dawn, you can just start attaching. Remember, her cost is to discard one Revolutionary Army card. Doesn't cost no Dawn at all, so start attaching away. On play, knock out up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 2,000 or less. And then if your leader is once colored, play this card on its trigger. So it could also blow up small characters. You could combine this with that Koala if you want to blow up a character. I've done it once or twice. Um, it's not really the strategy you want to do, but yeah, it's there. Then you got four. Satori! Five cost 5k. Yes, that is terrible, but you just want it for the trigger. Trash one card from your hand, play this card. Then you got four, Kobe. Really good card, just cause it's a blocker. Trigger, play this card, that's it. But you know, 3k power combined with Bellabody's effect, it's a 6k attacker that could block. Very nice. And the last two could honestly be anything, could be your events, could be whatever else you want, but I choose to play two smoothie. Just to have two more cards that could come out with this trigger. Um, it does have that effect when attacking, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, give an extra 2,000. Uh, unless you really need that extra 2,000, you're not using it for that. You're just using it for the you may trash one card from your hand to play this card. It could even be that other Charlotte card. Um, what do you call it? Peril Sparrow? 
uh, just because it's a lower cost in case you need a hard play from your hand. But you could really just consider that card like a vanilla because the only thing to search from that is probably the cracker if you're lucky. But everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see some gameplay, let us know. We're working on this new type of gameplay video, okay? So it's going to be, I don't know how to call it, but we're going to put more effort into it. You'll see what I mean when it gets done. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support us on Kofi, and I'll see you all next time.